Hey buddies. I'm live. How you doing? Welcome to the pre-show. There's some Brody dis disec di disessere dis Brody. Brody and Miss MJ Nor. Welcome. Welcome to the show. I'm setting myself up here. I'm getting myself all framed, I guess. Hey, quiet. Hey, see, lie. So I spent a little bit of time, like I was watching episodes to show Becky uh, what she missed at work. And um, I, how do I get to that? Anyways, I was noticing that there was a lot of sibilance, sibilance, which is like the sound of the S being really harsh. And uh, so I, I got myself a plug in here to maybe make it easier on the ears. Um, here, tell me if you notice a difference here. So the filter is on right now. So if I go sibilance, sibilance, it should sound pretty natural, but then here it is with it off, sibilance. That's how it was on the previous, this is how it has been, which during natural speech doesn't sound that bad because I'm not constantly saying sibilance, but it can be a little bit harsh, especially on certain speakers. So, so now that's with the plugin on. Sibilance, so, doesn't sound so harsh. There we go. I hope you guys can, I hope it's good for it. Yeah, it's a word. Quiet. <laughs> you guys are always here, like Crash 2, saying hi to my mustache, but never... It's always how's mustache, never how's Fraser. So, yeah, good. You can hear the difference, Steven. Sibilance. Sibilance. Happy birthday, Julian. Fraser's good. Sibilance. Ooh. I need to get my controller so that I can play the game. Sibilance. Sibilance. Yeah, it wasn't the worst before. It depended on your speakers. Some speakers were worse. I was listening on my laptop and then the living room TV. The living room TV was the worst. I think because modern TVs try to enhance the high end in order to really give vocal clarity so you can hear it when you're watching Sybil Shepherdance. What? Oh, instead of Sybil. Audio, it's so funny. I think you've probably heard this from other streamers and you've heard it from me since the dog's age. Uh, the audio is so much harder than video when it comes to streaming or any kind of production work really. Audio is way more challenging, mostly because like what you see is what you get when it comes to shooting video often you can like set up your camera to be like that but when it comes to audio man especially when you're directing like you're in the performance yourself how are you supposed to constantly modern your own your own audio see i'm slurring because i'm listening to myself so it's hard i'm like on a very slight delay it makes it hard to speak um 
you don't watch other streamers. Well, I'm sorry that I was gone for so long then, quiet. <laughs> and I should keep repeating. I, I appreciate you guys so much. How, how everybody waited around and were willing to come back when Old Fresh started streaming again after his paternity leave. Echo is at daycare. <laughs> Echo's sick. So it's been a bit rough, but she's getting through it. Yeah, I guess some people didn't even know why I was gone because like, you know, we we talk on the show about what's coming up and but it's always an offhanded con comment. I don't often make like big announcements or anything like that. And yeah, if you're not on Twitter, especially Twitter would keep you up to date, but some people aren't are not on Twitter. But um in addition, as I've said so many times here, like YouTube has put our broadcasts into a live tab. So some people keep on checking on the channel, didn't even see our Christmas stream where we streamed with Echo. So they don't even know we have a baby. They don't know why I We've been gone for so long. They go in, they see our, our um, Afogato stream for like from like more than a year ago, and they're like, "Well, this channel's over." Yeah, YouTube's always been a bit of a thing. Let me turn down. My... There we go. That sounds a bit more natural for me. All right, guys. Yeah, more Balatro. I'm not sure like how many streams of this I'll do, but I'm certainly interested in doing one more. I'd like to see where this this deck goes. I'll probably just start here. Yes, I have a baby. Princess Sweeps. Her name is Echo. When when I refer to Echo, it's it's my baby. Um. All right, I think many of the people who will be showing up have shown up. When is the PlayStation Showcase? I don't, yeah, I guess I can start, you know, watching things like that. I was thinking about doing a show and trailer where just old fresh, uh, catches up with what's come out and then maybe if there's some stuff that I think that Becky would go crazy over I could sh you know off show show it to her and record her with my iPhone and put it, put a, the reaction up on Twitter if it's something that was all Becky you know it's funny like show and trailer when it came to reactions even if you go way back into the past something like even with the crew of five 60 to 70 percent of the reaction was from me even though i'd already seen the trailers before when i was producing it for the guys sometimes i hadn't seen it before sometimes i downloaded stuff and just got it into the timeline and barely looked at it so i still got to react to stuff that i hadn't watched thoroughly but anyways the reactor has always been me <laughs> to some extent me and trying to get the you know the guys going into the right mood to react which you know usually involved a couple beers and teasing them or priming them to say something becky may uh, uh, becky's gonna come back eventually it's just we're in a very we're gonna take this slow how we figured all of this Let's celebrate their third super on a live stream. Mr. Blue, will streams be weekly, triple games, gameplay or trailers? <laughs> um, I don't know yet. Streams, I want to potentially stream daily, especially if I can stay disciplined and keep streams under three hours. 
the preference being two to two and a half hours. If I don't go too crazy, then I'll keep my energy up and be able to stay routinely able to stream. Um, no weekend streams, because uh, with Becky doing a nine to five and a baby, weekend stream weekends are for family now. I'm a real typical basic bitch now. I'm a briefcase carrying streaming old man. The layout will maybe progress. Yeah, it, Julian, uh, it, this may be a certain type of stream I do, and then eventually maybe the couch ish setup will return with Becky in the future. And Becky's doing great, quiet. We may do another stream where Becky and I and Baby sit down and we just have a little chat, just like we did at Christmas. Because I know you guys miss Becky and you'd like to hear from her every so often. You haven't seen her since December, so January, February, March, April. Every so often, maybe you should check in on. And one of my goals, though, is to start a show with the guys. I want to start a show with the guys, obviously, over the internet in a new type of format um maybe show and trailer or over the internet show and trailer maybe that's the future of show and trailer i don't know i don't know i'm figuring it out i know i want to do this forever so like you know it's all about as i've always said like doing it at a pace that makes sense and doing it in a way that makes me want to keep doing it um but right now, because I'm just easing back into it, uh, I'm going to focus on games as far as like uh, AAAs go. You know how I have been with AAAs lately. <laughs> Not super impressed by them, nor am I eager to play them. So like, I feel like focusing on indies, especially my favorite type of indies, which is roguelikes and card games. Um, deck building roguelikes. Love them. Love them. You guys know me. Come on. Um, I just, triple A's, they're not that great to me. I'm just, I don't know, I'm jaded. Nothing impresses me anymore when it comes to triple A's. GTA 6, I mean, when it comes out in three years, yeah, maybe then I'll check it out. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But it's just all the triple A's, they've just gotten so involved there's just so much not only are they, they are they the same often so much sameness over and over but they also require so much of your time they require you to invest so much time But um, one of the ideas I had actually for a show and trailer or anything with the guys was making it so that it works um, uh, sorry I was reading comments got lost uh, so that a show with the guys works as a podcast as well and I was thinking if we did show and trailer to make that work as a podcast that we would have a video com component that you can watch, but then after we're done reacting to every trailer, or we've watched it, then we pick one of us randomly to do a descriptive video on it for the listening audience. And I think people would find that kind of entertaining as Deacon tries to describe everything play by play on a trailer. Like, imagine him trying to describe the Avengers Endgame trailer as it plays. And us, you know, yelling at him that he's not doing it right or that he's like, what do you mean? Like trying to like come up with descriptions of what they're seeing. I think that'd be a funny shtick, like a running joke on the show. Everything becomes, yeah, everybody would describe differently, right? And poor Becky always when it comes to stuff like that would be the least um, ambitious or like confident to give descriptions so we tease her for that you know you can, you can picture how it'd go 
especially since Becky, like, or Kyle, who knows nothing about anything, even, like, Becky's better than Kyle when it comes to knowing characters, like, in modern media, whereas Kyle doesn't watch anything off show, so he wouldn't know anybody's name for anything, especially if it was, like, Marvel related. He'd just be like, blue guy, here is, well, it looks like he's gonna fight red guy, <laughs> like, Um, we would try, Suppy, like, uh, we would give it our college, the old college try, I like to describe it as detailed as possible for people who are literally can't see it right now. I wouldn't, I don't want to, like, uh, pretend that we're trying to do true descriptive video, though, because that's, like, an entire profession. Those people are incredible. Oh, man. You know, AI is going to make things so great, though. Just thinking about how AI is going to, like, create descriptive video for every piece of content out there on the fly. Imagine all of YouTube, and you know this is coming. Google's going to unleash some new descriptive video thing run by AI that describes everything amazingly for the people who are hard of seeing. That's going to be... Like, AI is gonna... And then imagine that, that type of AI, uh, AI in your glasses, if you're hard of seeing, and you just look around, and the AI is just talking to you, saying, like, what it sees. It's incredible! Well, Suppy, auto-generated captions are actually getting really good lately, and that's not even AI. That's, like... It's not today's what we have right now. That is old technology, that, that caption transcription. I think that you're going to see that get better and better. All of it. I'm a... When it comes to AI, there's a lot of doomers out there, they call them. Um, I can understand why there's trepidation about, trepidation about new technology. There's all kinds of challenges that come with new, new things like this. But I prefer to always see the optimistic side and how, what it, how it's going to help us. Like, you know, helping us cure cancers and stuff. I think that while it comes with challenges, it's ultimately going to be better for mankind. Like, anytime you even bring up the internet, you bring up the internet and it's just human nature. People are, do like how has the internet changed the world will always that question will always devolve into a morass of the negative aspects everything every bad news article they've heard about a kid being groomed online or like the violent imagery and the dark web and all this will be the prevalent thing that a human being mostly the average person will end up talking about they'll be talking about all the bad things that the internet came with but go to any random person and say okay we're switching off the internet tomorrow because of all the bad things how many people are going to vote for that and say yes the world would be better if we turned off the internet today. Like, humankind has done worse because of it. Nobody would say that. And the same will go for AI. In like a few years, every average person is going to say AI, when it comes down to it, if, if you were going to take it away tomorrow, I would say no. That's most people. The vast majority will say that. Today, on the cusp of, you know, the future, you have a lot of loud people saying the worst is coming and it will definitely be the worst, exactly how I describe it. You know, cats and dogs getting married, mass hysteria. Um, but you know, like to some extent we should, we should be careful, of course. I think the thing we should be most careful about. I'm gonna turn off my own audio monitoring. It's really hard to talk. Uh, there we go. Now I can talk. Um, I think the thing that people, uh, oh shit, I lost my train of thought. Something about AI. <laughs> Fuck me. Whatever. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think I think it's exciting times coming. 
And I think that uh, a lot of things when it comes to AI has to be put... I, I see people all the time saying about how it's going to take away jobs, and I still keep on trying to tell people, you got to stop thinking... I mean, I understand why for the immediate uh, uh, the effects that it will have on people's jobs who are like suddenly disrupted that they've spent years training on a certain skill and now AI does it out of nowhere, which ironically, one of the ones that most threat is developers who, you know, the ones to, uh, the ones who created this technology are at some of the most at risk of losing their jobs because we got AI now that aren't just coding, they're also being coding supervisors who are like supervising other AI and directing them and like picking out mistakes and like running entire projects. Um, that's crazy. So anyways, but I just keep on thinking about like, we're, we're always thinking about this stuff in the, um, in the context of capitalism. And man, oh man, like, I just don't see it that way in the, I like to optimistically think of capitalism slowly dissolving away. There's not gonna be a revolution where all of a sudden overnight capitalism is destroyed and we have communism. But what we will have is slowly over time, more and more countries voting for universal basic income. That is a concept that has been proven to work in all of his experiments. Anytime they've run it in small experiments here and there, including Canada, a lot of the North, uh, the Norse countries have done it, Scandinavia, universal basic income works. It works. It doesn't create like it, it's the people who are against universal basic income will always say it will create massive um amounts of just lethargy nobody will care to ever contribute to society again if they can just get by on universal basic income it's been proven to not happen the human being there will be people who take advantage of such a thing there will be people who decide like i'm just going to sit and watch tv the rest of my life for the most part people want to be productive to some degree but also you will get to a point where because of AI and because of automation, robotics and things like that, the need for every single human being to be the most productive that they can be. Remember, we used to have a six day and sometimes seven day work week back in the industrial era. People just, just work themselves to the knuckle bone and you know those in charge, those who owned the capital and the factories would have told you that giving anybody two days off a week would destroy society we're gonna to get to a point where people work the equivalent of number of hours of like three hours a day and that's contributing to society that's where i see it going that's where i want to see it go and i think that most people should try to like see that as the that's who why wouldn't you hope for that <laughs> that automation and robotics would get us to the point where we can like focus on family and life and love and leisure while still being human beings who want to contribute something to society. I think more people will actually be inspired to contribute to something to society when when they have the time to be healthy and happy. That's what I believe. I'm an optimist. Yeah, that, and that's the thing, Six Sticks. It's, it's that the, the advancements are just happening faster than we expected, so the economic and quality of life advancements are going to have to catch up, and it's going to be difficult. That dichotomy is going to be a challenge, and so there will be some immediate fallout, and it'll be harder in the countries that have no safety nets, like America, where it's terrifying to ever be out of a job, whereas like places like Scandinavia that don't treat their citizens like shit when they don't have work will do a lot better. Get your social safety nets in place, man. Stop voting conservative. That's my thing. All right, let's get to playing today. Thanks for giving me a little soapbox. It gives Becky a break when I get to talk at somebody else about all this stuff. I would be the anti-Elon. <laughs> oh, that fucker, man. All right, anyway. Ah... Well, one other thing on that topic, though, you know, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I'm kind of I'm pretty pro AI, even when it comes to the creative aspects and stuff that I know I completely understand artists and how it's terrifying and that in some ways unfair and stuff. And again, going back to my other point, like I keep on thinking like this is why we need universal basic income, because no artist should ever be afraid of not being able to make ends meet. But anyway. It's incredible what's being made in AI. And I was thinking, you guys know my challenges with the show. 
in terms of uh, copyright ID, especially when doing show and trailers, and how one of my strategies was an idea that I would compose enough music that I could flag myself on my videos. And I was actually working on building a library of little ditties that I could play in the background that are belong to me that I can flag my own videos as a third party so that if a, a show and trailer has 10 trailers that get flagged, well, I've played 90 of my songs, so 90% of the revenue will still come to me despite getting flagged. Um, it was It's challenging to compose a massive amount of music. It's pretty cynical. It's pretty hard to like be creative when it's like, I need this many tracks. I'm so excited about like this new serv these new services like Suno that are creating damn good music um, with text prompts and with like a little bit of work, you can like produce some amazing tracks that like I'm going to use just for background idle. They call it Muzak, uh, M, M U Z A K, just background music that can flag myself and be able to never have my revenue wrestled away by a corporation that decides that 30 seconds in this three hour show, the entire three hour show belongs to us because 30 seconds of a song showed up in a clip. Mm. So anyways, that's one thing that makes me excited. <laughs> Thank you, Sovenia Borisova. 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 Sovenia Borisova. All right, guys. Let's get started. Let's get me all set up in the corner here. Bal Balatro. Let us begin. Why am I, why my thing no work? Oh, here we go. All right. A forklifter, Matt. I had a forklift license once. It was terrifying. I think I drove it twice before I was like, no, I'm going to kill somebody. All right. Balatro. This is the third episode, so I'll do a little bit of work to t explain to you what this game is if you haven't seen previous shows. It's poker solitaire, kind of. You're not betting against anybody, you're not playing anybody. You're just trying to get as many points as you can based on the hands you play, which are real poker hands, um, by increasing your pot and your multiplier. And those things are increased by various power-ups that you add to your deck. You can delete cards from your deck, you can modify cards from your deck, you can turn all your clubs into diamonds with certain power-ups. And uh, that's permanent for an entire run. I'm jumping back into an existing deck that I was already playing that I won the game with. Uh, I guess a win happens after you defeat like four or five bosses. And I did that thanks to some help from the chat, I think. Uh, but it's a really crazy deck. The other aspect here, Joker unlock, continue save run from the main menu. Cool. So the other aspect of the game is um, these jokers that sit at the top. And these guys uh, run as you play. They run from left to right, and they are also they have power ups, and they modify the game greatly as you go. And so, what my current deck that I'm playing here is based on is focused on playing pairs. I'm not even like I'm a, basically a, oh my god, my lord, uh, basically ignoring any other hand that I could play like flushes or straights or oh no that's sad flushes and straights there we go um what was I saying oh yeah yeah so I play pairs I'm playing pairs in this run and it's working very well adds the number of times poker hand has been played to the multiplayer so okay so, okay so like for instance this joker here if i go into my info here it shows that during this run i've played pairs 31 times and the rest of those hands you can see how many times i've played them not as much not nearly as much as 31 times you can also see on the left that they could these hands can be leveled up so that you earn more points from them based on their level. And this is another power up you get while you're in the shop. Um, so anyways, then this guy multi gives me a multiplier based on the number of times I've played a hand. So every time I play a pair, it's going to give me a multiplier of 30. I should probably just play to see what it's like to show you guys what it's like. Uh, and I'll kind of explain it as it goes. 
one more consumable slot. That sounds worth it. My consumables are at the top right there. And I just bought an extra one. Now I can have three consumables, which come in the form of tarot cards. So now you know, like tarot cards are even included in this. So it's definitely not normal poker. Plus 10 multiplier if played, hand contains a flush. That's not gonna happen. Uh, plus one hand size. Uh, but I'd have to replace the Joker up here and all these other guys play really well with what I'm doing. So I'm not going to replace them. Um, I'm going to... Like, I really like my current Jokers, but I also have never seen a buffoon pack come up. This is a pack full of Jokers and I kind of want to see it. Played cards with even rank give a plus four multiplier when scored. So twos, fours, sixes, eights, and tens. Eh, that's, I can't see that replacing one of my jokers. Played cards with the club suit give a plus four multiplier when scored. So focusing on a deck full of clubs, which, you know, I haven't built around that, so no reason to get that. One free reroll per shop, but I'd have to take up a joker slot to do that, so that sucks. Times four multiplier every six hands played so that's not adding to the multiplier that's multiplying the multiplier which but it only happens every six hands <clears throat> nah nah like this guy's almost as powerful as that as it is i could see maybe like replacing this guy eventually but he keeps leveling up every time i play a hand of four cards he keeps adding to the pot and i mean your multiplier isn't worth that much if you don't have anything in the pot to start with you need somebody putting putting stuff into the pot your blue number is the pot and the um uh and the red number is the multiplier and again i should just start playing because you guys will see how this so i skipped that pack i decided not to use it I could open a Mega Arca Arcana pack, which which includes Arcana, Arcana packs have tarot cards, which are your consumables. And before you start using these, they, they can also alter, alter cards permanently for a run. They can also be used during a match. Um, these have to be used immediately. I get to choose two. Times two multiplier, one in four chance to destroy the card. I could turn one of my cards into glass. Um, that'll make it more powerful, but potentially break the card converts up to three selected cards to hearts i'm not really doing a run where i, mo I modify my deck into a certain suit so that doesn't matter that much converts up to three selected cards to clubs enhances one selected card to a lucky card a lucky card, lucky card. uh one in five chance for a plus 20 multiplier, one in 15 chance to win $20. I like this a lot. All right, so I'm gonna put that on my, doesn't really matter what I put it on. I'll put it on my ace. I like things like this. Now I got a lucky ace of clubs. By the way, the reason that the, the clubs are blue and uh, diamonds are yellow is because I have a high contrast mode on. Just makes it easier at a glance to see what you got in your hand without having to look at red and black. And the game has no mechanics based on red and black cards, so it doesn't matter. Double money, max of 20. So I could get free $20 here. Since I don't really want these other ones, I think I'll just take the $20. So I'm gonna get a big rebate on having even bought this pack. I ended up making a profit. It's too bad it doesn't double my money to give me actually 87 more dollars. All right. Next round. So here's the game itself, guys. Here's how it works. You go up against what they call blinds. And really, a blind is just a goal. How much do I need to earn to get to the next level? Except for bosses, which are a goal of a certain number of chips, plus a... Uh, um, and a, a modifier on the game and the boss that i'm about to go up to in two two matches it has this modification that says that i don't get to discard cards luckily with this particular deck that won't matter that i'm running i can also skip around which means i don't get to go to the store um 
I can have free $40 here by skipping this. But by skipping it, I don't get to upgrade my other cards that are upgrading every time I play. $40, though. I'm gonna... I think I'm actually gonna skip the blind and get that $40. All right, now I'm gonna go to the big blind. I'm skipping that one. The, I get a free mega buffoon pack. I don't need that. Let's play this one. So I need to make 160,000, 165,000 chips here. Thank you. Thank you, CZ James. <laughs> All right, so um, remember guys, my deck focuses on playing pairs. I got a couple. Oh yeah, this guy gives me $3 every time I play him. This guy creates a tarot card anytime I discard. I guess I'll discard this guy to start. So I have to create a hand of five out of all these cards. I'm gonna discard I just discarded that one card. I actually meant to choose more, but I made a mistake, but... All right, I'm gonna start by playing my pair of tens here, and then I'll throw away a couple other cards, like these two, doesn't matter. They're not gonna be scored, but I'm just scoring the tens. And I'm only playing, um, the reason I'm playing, um, four card hands is because of this one joker up there that gives me bonuses for only playing four card hands. So I'm focusing on that. I'm gonna play a pair of jacks here. This guy gives me a multiplier if it stays in my hand. It's a steel card, so I always want this to stay in my hand. All right, and then I'm gonna play the stone card and this uh, this other these other ones don't really matter they won't the four won't be scored but the stone card will um play that hand i think i'm gonna win here because that joker on the right guys the very right the one that looks like a clown i mean they all look like clowns but the one with the hoodie he multiplies my multiplier when i've played more than one of a hand in a turn so the second time oh my god see the second time that I play a pair. So the first time I play a pair, he does nothing. The second time I play a pair in a round, he multiplies my multiplier, which ends up just destroying. Like, so I've already beat the game with this, this deck, but I'm like on unlimited mode or like endless mode to see how far I can go. I'm gonna buy my standard pack and add a card to my deck because I have a Joker who uh, it gives me benefits every time I add a card to my deck. So even though I'm happy with what's in my deck, I can still... Oh, I'm really liking the steel cards. This guy's holographic. And he has a blue seal. Plus 10 multiplier and creates a planet card if this card is held at the end of the round. Only at the end of the round. Not the end of a... Um, okay. What do you guys think? Where's my experts? Do you think steel card, adding more steel cards is better than adding this? This seems like the strongest card here. This guy gives me plus 10 chips and a plus four multiplier. This gives me a 10 multiplier and 10 chips and then a free planet card. You think steel? You think just keep adding steel? The reason steel cards, everybody, are good is because it, they just have to sit in your hand and they keep adding to the multiplier. And it's not just adding to the multiplier, it's multiplying the multiplier, which is pretty insane. Yeah, I'm gonna add the steel. I'm gonna focus on steel cards here. All right. I had this this Joker in my deck a long time ago. He's not good enough late game. Early game, he's pretty cool. Or if you if you um, focus on playing face cards, which is Jack Queen King, a uh, Jack Queen Kings. One hundred chips if the hand can raise. Neither of those are any good. All right. Sure, I'm gonna get a a tarot card. Also, I have a tarot card up here. It creates a random Joker card. I don't have room, so I'm gonna sell this tarot. 
I got a dollar for it. I'll never use that, so. All right. So the fool creates the last tarot or planet card. I could double my money again. I could get a free $20 with the, the fool here. The chariot enhances one selected card into a steel card. I could just keep going down that road of steel. Um, convert cards to spades. Creates up to two random planet cards. What are planet cards again? Enhances one selected card into a wild card. Can be any suit. I'm not really playing with suits that much. Planet cards level up your hands. In what way though? Oh, they level up the hands that I can play. Like I could level up pair. Hmm. It'd be nice to level up my pair. But a steel card is a sure thing. I want my face cards, I think, to be steel cards. Can I make my stone card a steel card? Can I have a steel stone? I'm just gonna make the thing steel, the stone card steel. The steel card's the sure thing. Yeah, I'd have to get lucky to get get the matching pair for uh, uh, planet card. So let's move on to the boss. Next round. So I'm not going to be allowed to discard during this round. But that's okay. And you'll see why. If I have junk in my hand, I can play a junk hand. And that's essentially like discarding. The scary thing is that like... Playing hands is the only time that you can earn points. So if you're just playing hands to discard, it could get quite scary that you're like you only get to play five hands, and you I need to make two hundred and twenty thousand chips here in five hands. Luckily, this deck has been able to basically win within two hands every time in my experience so far. I'm just gonna play those out there. Three hundred sixty-five times multiplayer, so eighty thousand chips. And now, I don't think I need the multiplier for my glass cards. Um, they say it's a chance to destroy the card. Does the card still get scored if it gets destroyed, or do you destroy the card and lose the points from your hand? That would be terrifying. That you play it in a situation where you really need the points, but then suddenly the they don't get attributed. It gets destroyed after? Thank goodness. That would be... Whew, that'd be so scary. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, like... Do this. Yeah, and I think I win at this point. Let's see. I think I beat the boss in two hands yet again. 37 times multiplier, 47, 55 times multiplier, 82 times multiplier, 248, 371, 1114 times multiplier, and that's why this deck has been destroying. <laughs> Rerolls cost two dollars less. I, I haven't been rerolling, nor have I been short on cash. But it's ten dollars, and why the hell not, right? Like, I can afford it. It'll maybe pay me back eventually, and I don't really care. A jumbo Arcana pack and an Arcana pack. A Joker that says played face cards give a plus four multiplier. Hmm times one multiplier for each empty joker slot so this rewards you for playing only this joker so you could have a times four multiplier whereas this guy only gives you a times three multiplier so he'd be better this guy would be better than this guy who's my mvp if i wasn't playing any of these guys so in the end you have to decide whether 
this guy is better than all of these guys combined. And I don't think he is, so I'm not going to get him. Um, do I want to open an Arcana pack? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Converts cards to hearts. Creates room a random two tarot cards. I might do that. Converts the selected... I'll take these off now. Uh, if you aren't familiar with my need for glasses, it's iffy. It's like at a certain distance and some games are better than others and sometimes it feels better without them, sometimes better with them. It's very... I need to go to a doctor. Um, double my money, get my money back basically. Converts up to three selected cards to spades. Enhances two selected cards to multi cards. What the hell are... M oh, multiplier cards. Oh. Oh, this seems really good. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna... Two cards are gonna become multiplier cards. I'm just gonna choose my two highest. So those cards will just add to the multiplier. Is there any, like, rule of thumb that anybody has for the value of a multiplier, the number of a multiplier that a card adds, versus the number of chips added to a pot? If you found a card that gives you a plus 10 multiplier, is that better or worse than a card that gives you a 100 multiplier? Obviously, you need both. You have to balance them, right? But... In Magic, we have a lot of rules of thumb. Just quickly give a value to a card. Like, we think of things in terms of, like, mana economy. Multiplier is obviously the way that you really ramp up, but, like, you do need something in the pot to matter for it to even start ramping. Like, is it a 10 to 1 ratio of value? Is it a 100 to 1 ratio of value? Like... I'm gonna open the other Arcana pack. I like modifying my deck gives the total sell value of all current jokers uh, oh i can just make 19 dollars for free here nah select two cards convert the left card into the right card mm. uh enhances one selected card into a stone card i don't want to do stone cards um Yeah, that's true, Blah Moo Moo. The middle joker not only gives me... He's polychrome, so he has a multiplier built in, but he's also giving me more chips, and he's ramping up the number of chips as the game goes on, so he keeps getting better. I had earlier a guy, a, a card called Ice Cream, that was giving me a free 100 chips every round, but it uh, as the game goes on, 100 chips becomes less valuable, whereas this guy just keeps on upping his value as he goes on. So this guy's really essential to the strategy for the long-termness of this deck. Um, and the ice cream was melting. Yeah, that's true. It was becoming less valuable. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true too, blah, blah, blah. Um, Select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. I think that's what I'm doing here. So what's my best card here right now? I have plus 11 chips, one in five chance for a 20 times multiplier and a one in 15 chance to win $20. That's a pretty cool one to, multi to duplicate or plus 10 chips and plus 30 extra chips. So it would be a total of and then plus 50 chips. So this queen of hearts scores me when it scored 90 chips. That's pretty good. That, and that's more reliable than the ace, which is just kind of a fun. I think I'm going to duplicate the duplicate the queen and I'm going to uh, modify my five into it. So I have to do this right. It says select two cards, convert the left card into the right card. So I want the the this on the left of the queen. Convert the left card into the right card. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I have two of those queens. There we go. All right, we continue. This game is addictive, guys. It's addictive. It's not as flashy or as interesting as like, you know, maybe say inscription with a story and, and so much like 
extra flavor. And frankly, when I started, I thought that we would have, that it would have more flavor. I thought things were gonna go places like Inscription. It doesn't, at least so far. Especially when the first Joker started talking to me, I thought we'd have like, you know, something like that going on. But, uh, what are you guys panicking? This boss, the needle, play only one hand. Okay. And I need to make 560,000. That pretty much ends the run because my deck. There's no way around that, is there? I would have to modify my deck to somehow be able to do a one hand shot. What I have to do is discard enough times to get a hand that would allow me to win in one hand. So this might be the end of the run here. Let's see if I can go to the store enough times here to just get a new set of jokers. I basically have to rebuild my jokers. All right, I'm just gonna quickly play this out because there's not a lot um, to be done right now. Like this is, this is gonna be easy to win. I have to make that many chips in one hand. Like, this is what I'm able to do on my first hand, guys. Usually. putting too much value in the Jolly Joker, how he gives me plus eight multiplier if the hand contains a pair. The hand doesn't need to be a pair. I'm Yeah, not as much that I'm not putting value on him. It's that... Ah, well, the Supernova means I have to play pairs. I was going to say, because the Supernova's give me like a 35 times multiplier. Um, ugh, all right. Anyways, uh, If only it was two hands that I got to play, because two hands, I'm laughing. Hey, what, what happened there? Did I not play a pair? Why didn't I win? I wasn't paying attention. That was three of a kind. Oh, fuck me. That's... <laughs> All right. I accidentally put too many of one... You know, even if it was two hands, I would have a bit of trouble. Yeah, I guess I just got unlucky drawing that boss. It is what it is. Maybe I'll destroy these eights. It's kind of sad that a boss like that exists, though. Because a boss like that exists, it makes you think, if my deck isn't built around winning in one hand, my, my run will always end when I reach that boss. So it's like, the only way to play the game is to build a deck that can win in one hand. Like, if you're not building a deck that can win in one hand, then you're just always dooming yourself to end your run your, un your unlimited run when you reach that boss. He can appear earlier when winning in one hand is more feasible. Sure. 
yeah, untouchable. Bosses that are kryptonite to certain archetypes, but this guy's kryptonite to everything but one archetype. There are ways to re-roll bosses. Like what? Tarot cards? Sell this card to create double free, double tag. Well, I'm gonna just re-roll like crazy. I'm gonna use all my money to re-roll jokers till I get like the ultimate joker, like a brand new set of jokers, basically to hope that I can somehow win in one run. I don't think that adding cards to my deck is gonna do a big, like jokers are a sure thing. You're always gonna have them. And I need a sure thing, something that helps me win in one hand. Tarot cards might help me too. Destroys up to two suck cards. Well, that one's not gonna help me. What is this? What does this mean? What is a tag? Sell this card to create a free double tag. What is it? What is this? I have no idea what a tag is. Can skip tags? I don't know. Oh, they're what you skip for. Okay, uh, is that not, um, it's a joker, so it's not worth taking up the slot. I'm, I'm re-rolling these jokers. See what else I get. Plus 20 multiplier, negative four multiplier for every round played. Um, so this would have been great to go into my jokers right before I reached the boss, like maybe. Oh wait, like it, it, it this is like that probably resets every, that probably resets every single hand, right? So it's not like permanent through the run. It's like plus 20 multiplier for your first hand, 16 multiplier for your second hand, 12 multiplier for it. So maybe this is worth going in here. Plus 20 multiplier. It's not better than the Joker because uh, from the Supernova because the Supernova is giving you plus. Nah, this isn't actually that good because this one alone is giving me like 37 multiplier. Mercury, level up a pair. Oh, level up pair? No, you know what I need? So this guy isn't going to help me at all. You know, if I want my run to continue, I have to sell Card Sharp. My MVP, I have to sell him. I have to be brutal here and sell my best guy because he's useless for a single card win. If I really want to keep going, I need to even consider getting rid of him. Right now, Hologram, this guy's better than this guy anyways. He goes off every time, whereas he only goes off the second time I play a pair. Like my best chance right now is playing a Royal Flush. A one hand Royal Flush. I'll buy this because it's only $3 and if I do make it past, like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm going to buy this. I'll buy and use it. I finally get to upgrade pair and it probably won't matter. I'm going to reroll again. What do we got? Retrigger all cards played for the next 10 hands. That might help. That could help, like retriggering everything that I run. So it's like making my hand happen twice. So who would I replace? Jolly Joker? Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of Jolly Joker. I'm gonna buy this. Next. You know what? I might get rid of, I don't know, Supernova even. 
Create a tarot card. If a poker hand contains an ace or a straight, that won't happen. All right, let's keep going. I should probably add these cards to my deck because that's going to increase the multiplier of this guy here. Plus four chips, plus... I don't need that. All of this sucks. This is just gonna dilute my deck and make it so that I don't draw into my glass and steel cards, so I'm skipping this. Ah, but now I don't get the multiplier. Fuck me. God damn it. All right. Um, I think I have enough money to... Uh, all right. Converts up to three selected cards. Spade, don't need that. Gains $3 sell value out of a round. Don't need that. Rerolling. The f if first discard of a round has only one card, destroy it and earn three dollars. No. Plus fifty ch of chips if this is played hand contains a pair. No. If played plus ten chips if played hand contains a straight. Is the cost of reroll dependent on this? Is like. The next store will have the same price too, right? It's until you beat a boss, the reroll price probably keeps going up. You would cut 4-bit before Supernova? What's 4-bit? I don't know what 4-bit. Like him? Square? Joker? Each blind it resets? Okay, all right. Oh, I can win the next blind. 800 chips, that's nothing. I can do that. Okay, well, all right, that's good to know that it resets every shop. Reroll. Doubles the money. Well, this is like getting back a bunch of money, so I might as well grab him. Plus one hand size probably helps, but I don't want him taking up Joker's slot. But I'm gonna buy and use this tarot card just to get some money back. Reroll. Nope. Plus two chips for each dollar you have. So this would give me 246 extra chips in the pot. Nah, but I'm gonna be spending more money anyways, so it's gonna keep on getting less valuable. What do we got here? Going to debt at least 20. No, it's a joker. It takes up the slot. So, retrigger all cards held in hand's abilities. Uh, again, this thing, like, this is objectively better than this one. Or what's the difference between these two? Oh, in hand, it's for steel cards. Right, right. <sighs> Should I consider this and then like discard until I get steel cards potentially do a Hail Mary and get us like amazing in hand multiplier? This feels a little bit iffy. We're going for a real sorry this is kind of a boring episode for anybody who's new to the game because i'm like just like doing this desperate attempt to keep this run going by modifying my deck last minute not worth it you think that's the votes all right you don't yeah it's true i don't have a lot of steel cards it was a wish to get more steel cards but i didn't end up getting a lot this joker gets a uh, gangs plus 0.25 multiplier for each steel card in your Full deck currently times oh this seems good because just a built-in times 2.5 so I'm gonna get rid of my card sharp and maybe yeah it's really close to card sharp but it goes off in the first hand um, I might get rid of my square Joker first though Like, I think I'm getting rid of my Joker, my Square Joker anyway. Ask 
screw it. I'll get rid of that. Since we are going for a replacement of him, I'll just make it simple to get rid of him right now. All right, re-rolling again. Level up full house. All right, maybe I should level up my full house and really hope that I get a full house, like for my hand, like go for a full house. Converts up to three, like I only have one hand to play. I might as well aim for a full house, right? Um, converts up to three selected cards to diamonds. All right. And I didn't modify my deck to dilute full houses, so I'm lucky in that sense, I suppose. So full houses now give me a times eight multiplier and 90, 90 in the pot. Rerolling one more time, or should I try to beat the next boss and then start rerolling again so that I'm not spending 13 per reroll? Yeah, I'm gonna try to beat the next blind. Ah, one more reroll. 40 chips for each remaining discard. No. Plus two, 12 multiplier if the hand contains a straight. Not gonna happen. One more reroll. Allows straight to be made with gaps of one rank. Oh. Ah. Uh. Not gonna help me immediately. Do you think this one's crazy? Like, is a straight better than a here? Let me look it up. Straight better than a fl uh, full house? It's not. Uh, especially since I've upgraded the full house. It looks right now like I'm going for a full house, because right now my full house is as good as my straight flush. It's my best chance to win right now. My most powerful hand is. Can somebody do the math? 80 times... 80, 90... 7... Like, that is my best hand, right? Full house. Alright, I'm not gonna re-roll again, because I'm just gonna waste the money. Um, I'm gonna go to the next round, hope I can beat this next guy. I think I should be able to with 5 hands and 4 discards. I can just, yeah, yeah, I'm going to play this guy to get into another shop. All right, so right now my strategy to play pairs isn't really a thing anymore. I'm just trying to go for full houses, kind of. So I'm going to discard. My best chance at a full house right now is the face card, so discard all these guys. Alright, here we go. Here's a full house. So I'll go... Unfortunately, I have to play my steel cards to get the full house. Two steel cards. Should I... Try one more time... to be able to do it without the steel cards? I'm gonna do that. didn't work I'm gonna start playing cards I guess oh shit you're right Lacria wait uh, you might not be right though let me look at the numbers on that so the point he just brought up was that Supernova gives me a plus like 40 multiplier right now because of the number of times I've played pairs. So if we look at that, we've played 38 pairs, meaning it gives me a plus 38 multiplier versus the base times three versus up here full houses times eight. Yeah. Fuck, you're right. So I should just be playing pairs still. As long as I have full house. This game is hard, man, when you try to go further for an unlimited run. Like, this isn't fair. I had... Here's a straight. Is that worth playing? I think that I might have ended my run. I, I don't...
I think I'm kind of discouraged having a completely... Whoa, what the hell's going on up there? What's... Yeah, you guys did warn me that scaling is obscenely crazy. So what if I play a pair of queens right now? What would that look like? Along with the four and the ace. scored and I can't play the other six so I have to play it anyways uh wait what about this queen I think that's better Win in one rat one. I don't know if I can even win right now. The glass card gives like a multiplier, but it can break, which means I'd never get to use it again. Oh, I forgot that I'm not doing playing four cards i got so see this is the thing yeah it's over i the reason i played four cards guys is because my entire i had five of a kind yeah i don't know I, i'm a, i'm a little bit on tilt like it's i had such a fun deck going and basically encountering that boss means i had to just eviscerate my entire my entire like deck that i built it's a little bit disillusioning but i had won the game i was just in unlimited mode but i expected to be able to go a little further We'll look at a new seed. So now, blue deck, yellow deck, green deck, nebula deck, the rest are locked. So these are bonuses just for changing your card back. It also became less fun for me to modify my entire deck like that because it's like suddenly I'm having to do like 20 lines of math to figure out whether my replacement cards are, are going to work. Whereas before that point, I was able to just like kind of go with my heart with on a per card basis, which is why roguelikes are so much fun. You just make decisions on a on a per moment basis instead of having to look at the big, big picture all the time. But then all of a sudden, suddenly I was being forced to look at being forced to look at the big picture with every decision and that kind of not as much fun for me. Yeah, who knows, Lucrea. My heart wasn't in it, though. Start with 10 extra dollars at the end of each round, $2 per hand remaining, and $1 per remaining discard. Earn no interest, though. Is that worth it? Somebody run the math on that for me. It punishes you for not having... It, pun it, 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 it makes it so that having tons of money saved up doesn't matter as much start a run with the telescope voucher negative one consumable slot what is the telescope again it lets you get more planet cards and planet cards do upgrade your hands That is a motivation to play one hand wins. Retro Mike, not usually the case. 
tons of number crunching in my experience so far it hasn't been the case basically you just you kind of think about a strategy as you get the hands the the cards dealt to you the power-ups that you start getting dealt to yourself and then you'd like hone your deck in on that strategy just kind of focus on that I just happened to hit a point after I'd, I had already beaten the game and I was in unlimited mode and it's supposed to be unfair and so I'd hit a point where without a ton of number crunching I wasn't going to be able to go any further unless I dramatically re-engineered my deck right there. That's where the number crunching came in. If not for that, this game actually doesn't have that much number crunching. So I, I will say that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the telescope. I kind of like upgrading my my hands. I want to see what that's like to to like focus on one hand getting really upgraded. That's what the planet cards do. So let's just jump. I might right off the bat skip a blind because my next Joker will be holographic which gives a plus 10 multiplier. I think that would be kind of neat. Yeah, I'm skipping this blind right off the bat. No shop for me, no money earned. Uh, Rerolls the boss blind. Oh, great, that's nice. Oh, that's nice, that's so great. So if this had appeared earlier, I would have been able to get rid of that fucking boss that destroyed my run. It doesn't help me now because I'm just going up against a boss that says that I must play five cards. Of course I'm gonna play five cards. All right. It's like the game is just purposefully trying to piss me off now. Um, yeah, it did, Retro Mike. Also, long time no see, man. All right, so we're back to a fresh thing. I have to get out of the, the headspace of just playing pairs and think about what my best hand is, which is a little bit refreshing. To be frank, I'm like happy to get a new run going. This is fun. Get to look at everything brand new again. I can sort by suit and rank to see what is the more valuable strategy right now. How close am I to a flush? Um, I think my best chance right now is the fact that I have three of a kind. Um, I'm just going to play out three of a kind, I think. Near the beginning, you can just pretty much play your best, the best stuff you have in hand, because you just, you don't have any particular strategy. You can use discards if you're really close to something. Um, my suits arranged are like two hearts and three clubs. If I had four clubs, I might discard till I got like but I have three of a kind again. I have a full house, so I'll just go with that. No bonuses, no funky monkey business here at the beginning. Just straight up solitaire poker. Moving on though, once we get to the first store, that's where things will get interesting. Who will be my first joker? He's gonna be holographic, that's all we know. All right. We got a holographic and a foil. But the plus two chips for each remaining card in your deck. So this rewards me for adding cards to my deck because he will give me... Interesting. I guess I'll, like, buy him. Because he's going to be very good early game at the very least. Does nothing voucher? Well, I don't have enough money, so I'm moving on. All right, first boss. We're playing, still playing pretty much vanilla poker because this guy, this Joker's upgrade is just a passive effect that affects my deck no matter what it is. Full house right off the bat. Play my hand. Three, three of a kind and a pair. Full house. Buy those vouchers. Uh. There's a one hand win. I unlocked a joker. I think I just got an achievement for beating a boss in one hand. So you get a dollar per hand that you didn't play also. Uh, out of the total hands that you could have. 
Negative one ante. Oh, so I'll spend less anteing up. Yeah, how do antes work again? What is that all about? I never even thought about what the ante is. Right now I'm spending $2 per game? Is that what that means? Two out of eight ante is what it says. Is how many bosses you need to beat. Okay. So you could rewind a level so that you have more time to build up an epic deck or something. Why? I don't. I don't think that's a good voucher. Mega Arcana pack for eight dollars. I can't afford it. Level up full house. I think I might level up full house. I've already been playing a lot of full houses. I just sold it instead of using it. Uh, I'm starting again. I hate mistakes like that put me on tilt. I'm doing a new run. I haven't gotten anywhere in this run and that just annoyed me so much. I was so excited because I've only been playing full houses. I've clicked the wrong button. I sold it. So what did I unlock to beat a boss in a blind blind with one hand without using any cards? All right. It's not just that I lost two dollars, it's that I just like made a mistake so early on and like that's just not fun to think about how I started to run with a, a mistake like that. Like I'm so I've only played one round. Screw it. All right. If I skip this blind, I'll get a plus three hand size for the next round. Oh, I don't need to worry about that. Oh, thanks, Truth. Love seeing you do more streams. Been a long time fan. Glad to see you're back. Any other games you're excited to get into? Uh, my inbox has been full of really cool looking indies. I want to play a game called Pepper Grinder. And there was another one called um, that I really wanted to play an indie. It's like a it's got a, the main character is like a, a tank girl looking character and the kills are really violent. It's all cartoon hand animated forget the exact name of it but there's those are two really cool action based um pepper grinder is your your little character running around with a drill in your hand and it's kind of like imagine echo the dolphin but with uh digging through the ground instead of swimming through the water so like your character's diving down through the ground and then coming back up and it just looks really crunchy and fun Anyways, yeah, indies, man, indies. Thanks, Truth, for the support. Um, all right, full house right off the bat. Here we go. Full houses are a four times multiplier and 40 in the pot. Plus you get the, whatever your cards are worth goes into the pot as well. Whatever you do, I'm here for it, says Truth. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Two pair. Just keep this moving along quick since I just kiboshed a whole run. dollars I got a $10 voucher that I can't get but I don't want that one anyway plus 50 chips if played hand contains a pair I guess you guys were upset that or like I forget who it was was upset I stopped my run because they thought the joker that I got was so good eh whatever you know playing played face cards give plus four multiplier when scored do I want to really focus on face cards? I don't think either of these jokers is strong enough to care, especially with the amount of money I have. I'd like to always have enough money saved up to buy any voucher I see if it's powerful enough. So I'm just going to keep going and try to always have $10 in my pocket at the very least. Oh, it didn't bother you? Good. Um... If I skip this blind, I'll get a plus 
a Joker that's polychrome. Next next edition shop Joker base edition becomes polychrome. That's really good. I'm gonna do that. A polychrome Joker just having a automatic multiplier built into the Joker, regardless of what his ability are, is cards played previously, this anti are debuffed. So every time you replay a card. Okay, that's that doesn't come up a lot, at least in the decks I've played so far. Oh, this ante, not this hand. Oh, I see what they mean. Right, right. Anyway, I don't have any buffed cards, so it doesn't really matter. I'm close to a full house, so I'm just going to go ahead and, like, do this. Discard all of these to see if I get another eight. I didn't. Let's do it again. I got another ace instead. Not bad. That's a pretty good opening hand. My multipliers are so low right now, it's so weird. Eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, straight. It feels like it's harder to build a straight than a full house, but a straight is worth less. Oh, I lost a dollar. Just in case, I'm going to discard all these to see if I can... I don't know. There's no real reason for that. Even though these have been debuffed, it doesn't matter. They didn't have any buffs to begin with. Just barely won though. My deck is not strong right now. I need some power ups and let's hope this free polychrome joker I get from the next shop does that for me. So I get one interest per five dollars. I get a dollar per five dollars every round that I have in my hand. Keep saving up. Or is it a dollar per dollar I just earned? Is it what I have in my pocket or what I just earned? Anyway, here's a polychrome joker, not discovered. Plus 20 multiplayer if hand contains three or fewer cards. So this is like rewarding you for playing three of a kind. Raise the cap on interest earned per round to $10. The jumbo buffoon pack for six. I can't afford both of these. I think I might do the... It's on your total. I think I'm gonna go with this Polychrome Joker, the Ripped Joker, and I'm gonna buy the Buffoon Pack and get a free, another free Joker. Here we go. Played cards with the club suit give a plus four multiplier when scored. Are there any of these uncommon? No, they're all common. Plus four dollars at the end of round. That's pretty cool early on. That's just gonna start earning money for me right right away. Earn three dollars for each discarded nine rank. Every discarded nine gives me three dollars. Changes every round. This potentially earns me a lot more. Or earns me nothing. Especially if it's a card that I really need to make a hand. I think the gold joker early, and this is early. Plus 10 multiplier if played hand contains a flush. I think the gold one, just because it's so early in the run, that that's going to make be an MVP, I think, to get me started here. Gives $1 per unused discard this run. It'll only give me three dollars, so I don't care. All right, opening hand. I've got a pair of kings on suit, not a lot, so I'm gonna go with two pair. I'm just gonna play those out. 
with my six. I get, I have to remember that three or fewer cards gives me a multiplier of 20. No, th that's actually better, right? I should be focusing on three of a kinds if I'm gonna run that card. So let's do this instead. Let's discard all these and hope I get one of these as a three of a kind. I didn't, let's do it again. Oh, I should be looking for other things that I'm drawing into though, just in case, but um... One more discard. I want an epic. Ah, boy, oh boy. Yeah, I know the tri peril trigger. I was just really hoping for a three of a kind. Anyways, I won in one hand, regardless. I didn't need to go that far. This is a lot like the last run where I overthink things. Three dollars, three more dollars, four more dollars, four dollars. Okay, ten dollars. There was a special sound was made. This joker gets a zero, a point two, 0.5 multiplier for each card sold resets when the boss bind is defeated. Oh, that's so this re rewards you for constantly selling and buying jokers. I don't like that. That's going to give me a lot of it'll the negative effect is a plus one joker slot. I don't understand how this is a negative effect. Bex and baby are doing great. Played face cards give plus four multiplier when scored. The voucher says raise the cap on interest earned to $10 per round. So if I have more than... I get one per $5. So if I had uh, $50 or more, I'd get more. Uh, what is the cap right now? Negative doesn't mean bad here. Oh, it's a negative card. Like, it's the negative. I get it. it instead of a foil. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now I understand what you mean. I can't afford it anyways unless I sell this Joker. Is that worth it? Cap is five dollars for twenty-five held. I don't think this is. I, that's. I need to get up to twenty. My twenty-five dollars in pocket. I think. They they use uh, they're using the word negative for the visual, like a photo negative, because it's been had that effect applied to it instead of foil or holographic. It's an interesting card, I have to admit. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. It's really interesting strategy to build around. Constantly selling cards. And if this, like, sucks, this run sucks, it sucks. Let's just see. So I'm going to buy this card. So right now, I didn't buy it yet, so I have to... There, I'm selling that one too. That one's been upgraded. Now it is... Okay. And I guess I'll, like, I need to buy cards to sell cards, so. You want me to buy and sell it? You think I should, or should I wait? If I have lots of money, I can just keep buying and selling, like, really fast and ramp that up fast. Yeah, I think it's worth selling it. So now this is giving me a two times multiplier. Let's see how this goes. Let's go to the next round. Skip the blind, gives you a free spectral pack. Nah, I think I need to earn money right now instead of skipping blinds, so. All right. So I'm no longer getting the bonus for playing hands of three or less, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. That was getting, that was kind of awkward for me anyway. I'm just gonna start off 
with two pair. <clears throat> the game really encourages you to build a deck that wins in as few hands as possible because that includes getting bonus money for playing less hands. Um, like I should have discarded a bit there to see if I could win with this this right here. But now I'm gonna. I, I was probably gonna have to do this anyways, though. Six, seven, eight. If I get a nine. Now I have two pair. I'll play that out. And one of the sevens. Because I'm looking for a straight here. Just getting rid of those other cards. I didn't get my straight. Six, seven, eight, nine. But I have. Oh, I did. Alright. Yes, I did. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Play that hand. That should win it for me. Did I also have a flush at some point? I wasn't, I, I, I'm not good. Where was the flush? <laughs> Spectre packs usually delete other jokers, set your money to zero, destroy cards in your deck, all things you kind of want to do. Why would I want to destroy jokers when I need to be selling them, not destroying them? I need more money. Copies the ability of the Joker to the right. That's really fun. But I don't have enough money to do it. Ah, I wish I did. That would have been great. guy I think that's interesting Ooh, three of a kind Almost a flush. Oops. Yeah. Oh, what? What did that do? Oh, I lose multiples for. Uh, I forgot. I'm not supposed to discard. I already forgot. Anyways, how close am I to a flush? Whatever. He's at zero multiplier now. Uh, discard those. Here we go. There's a flush. Oh, I should have moved campfire to the right. Oh, because it multiplies the multiplier, yeah. Five pair should do this. I'll do one more discard since I haven't been, well, he is powered up. But I do need to discard something. I have nothing going here except for high card. Well, I have a pair. All right, we'll do a pair. Get rid of these things. Barely one. Will this be, will campfire work out for me? I need more money in order to I can't I can't spend money if I don't make money. I got to make money to spend money. 
All right, I'm gonna sell this guy. We're in a new round, so I have to start powering this guy up again. $2. I could, can I afford this voucher? Playing cards can be purchased from the shop. Why would I? So would playing cards start to take up space where my jokers were? Campfire did reset, yes. So I had to start campfire again. I'm going all in on campfire. It's a weird strategy. It doesn't make me super, super comfortable, but I want to do something really different here. Um, you can sell tarot cards. This could potentially make me multiple tarot cards as well. Oh, I know I have to use them right there. This would have been a better run with the green deck where I'm making more money automatically. But every played card. Oh, that's cool. I'm selling. I'm just selling them. I want to win in like one hand so that I will win faster and get more money for winning faster. Rerolls the boss blind. Discard two random cards per hand played. All right, we'll see what happens. Uh, what do we got on suit? play the two pair hmm. might have to do some discarding in order to try to get like a flush Get more powerful hands here. Ooh, there we go. Full house, rather, not a flush. I might have trouble winning here. This run might end early. It's my best chance. Probably a flush again for my best possible hand. Ooh. How much is three of a kind worth? Times three multiplier? I think I, uh, I think I have to go for a full house instead. It's probably my best chance. I don't think I'm gonna win this though. I need a high scoring full house or like. I'm gonna go for a straight. Hail Mary on this straight. That actually, a full house with aces and kings might win it because of how high they score. Not sure though. If we have to start a new run, we have to start a new run. Let's see what happens though. I don't wanna do the math, that's for sure. I need to make 1,000 on this hand. So close. Oh, wow. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go to a new run. You know, I like money. Let's go with the green deck. The green deck earns me a lot more money by default, just by playing with the green deck. I had a straight. You sure about that? I don't think I did. Not at that last hand. Mm, yeah, no ten. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, shop has a- remember guys, I won the game on my second run ever <laughs> playing this game. Now I've had like three runs since. Well, I ended one early, but... <laughs> the next shop will have an uncommon joker, or I can earn some money. With the green deck, I should just keep trying to earn money. Just have to make $300 here, so... Uh, let's see. I have three of a kind. 
a very low scoring three of a kind. I think I will do this and hope I get four of a kind. Four of a kind? No. Darn. Full house. Very low scoring full house. Because I get a good multiplier, but the chips are much lower than they would be if I scored higher up. Um, Ace, Jack, King. And then, like, by playing this hand, I might be drawing into a straight, high end straight. So we'll see. Five, six, seven, eight. I just need a nine. What are the chances I get a nine from discarding two cards? Pretty low. Let's see. Nine? Five, six. Come on, nine. Or a four, yeah. Come on. And now I have nothing. Uh, so I'm just playing like high card here. Now I'm you playing hands to discard them. Um. No, you do have a straight. Oh my god, I do too. Good lord. Why am I playing like I think I need a six card hand? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> my brain. Or did I draw into the four and, and uh, just not pay? Is that what happened? Like, I, did, I didn't have a straight at the very beginning when I was actually counting, right? I'm not that crazy. I, I picked up the four, right? And then just didn't pay attention? Whatever. Level up pair! I like playing pairs. I just got the four, so I just wasn't... I was so fixated on getting a nine that I forgot that I'd picked up a four giving me a straight. Makes sense. Permanently get plus one to... I can't afford that, so it doesn't matter. I don't want to just do another pair run... Earn five dollars if three or more face cards are discarded at the same time. So, double down on straights and like ignore your face cards, like discard face cards. That earns a lot of money early game. I feel like this might be worth it. I'm gonna do that and see if I can just keep building up my cash right now. Maybe I should have opened the Megas Arcana pack. Whatever. What do I do if I skip this? An uncommon joker? No, I'm gonna play. Let's see here. So, discarding face cards. Three or more face cards will give me a bonus. I'm gonna first start like this. Just play these two pair. Draw another face card for fuck's sakes. I'm gonna discard all those and hope I get more eights here. Should I keep the nine just in case I, I, I start making a straight? Yeah, that, that kind of puts me close to making a straight if I take that. Keep the nine in hand. Plus it's on suit with the jack and the eight, so that, that has a chance of making a flush as well. All right, um, let's earn some money and maybe I will build into a full house with aces. So I'm going to earn some money from that joker right now, five extra dollars. That's nice early game. That's worth a lot more than it would be late game. 
Uh, I have one more discard. At this point, I might try to build towards an epic hand with three eights if I'm if I'm lucky here. And I did. That's nice, full house. Pretty high scoring full house too. So your pot gets bigger based on the, how high up the cards, um, when you're just playing vanilla like I am right now, the higher the rank the cards you play. I think I, I can afford to discard these. Oh, I don't have a discard right now. I was gonna discard them so that I could get the extra $5, but I don't have the ability to. I'll just play two pair. So the game rewards you for playing high value cards because they add to the pot. And without pot, without stuff in the pot, the multiplier is not very valuable to you. $16, that's a pretty good, I'm starting to get some good cash early game here with the screen deck. Plus one discard with, per round would help me with my faceless joker. But everything I spend right now is taking away from my interest earned as I keep playing. A mega celestial pack. Two planet cards. I think I gotta open that for Dave Rabal. So this upgrades my hands. What kind of hands do I want to upgrade? What, what do I want to play? I like full houses. Four of a kind is a bit harder to me than full houses. Two pair is fun. I don't have anything that leans me towards one or the other. Straights can be fun too. I can choose two. So which two would be the most like um, complementary to each other? Probably I'm just like going for like four of a kinds full houses are the most valuable if I'm looking to aim for like straights and straight flushes and full of a I'm gonna, up I'm gonna upgrade straight and then what would be complementary to straight not four of a kind that's the opposite of straight flushes maybe would two pair plus full house because if you fail to build a full house then you might have two pair yeah i'm gonna level up full house And then I'm gonna move on to the next round. All heart cards are debuffed, that's fine. I don't have anything hearts that has been upgraded. So, I'm trying to kind of aim for, because they've been leveled up, full houses and straights. Yeah, get that joker that lets me skip a number in the straight. That would be pretty beautiful. So that joker lets you do it. It doesn't permanently make a straight need to skip numbers. It's just like either or wins. Or does it like make it so that you can make straights only using skip numbers? So I have two pair. On suit, I have four on suit. Maybe I should go for a flush here. I'm gonna go for a flush. I'm just one card off. And it would be a pretty high scoring. The, the benefit of flushes is that you get to contribute any denomination to the flush. 
it's easier to contribute like your face cards to a flush than it is a straight because you never know if the straight's going to be in the range of the face cards right but anyway I'd like to earn some cash by discarding some face cards here. I should spend a discard trying to look for some face cards. I'm one shy of a face card, but they're on suit with my diamond, but maybe I don't care. I'm just going to look for another face card here with this discard. And I get to keep my on suit. So if I end up creating a flush, then lucky me. If I don't... There we go. Three face card. I have a flush, so I, I'm not going to give myself the five dollars. There. Another flush. Not as much money as if maybe I would, uh, but I won. I didn't end my run by losing stupidly to an early. Two dollars each for each remaining hand, one for dollar for each remaining discard. Times four multiplier every six hands played. Uh, yeah, that'll help me on certain times, very specific. Straight flushes upgrade. Let's do it, buy it and use it. So we're going for straights and flushes, or straights. We're mainly going for straights. Flushes are a bonus. Um, Permanently gain plus one discard per round. That's pretty great. Just gives me extra ability to do this up here, too. I like permanent upgrades to a run. Passive ones, especially. All right, moving on. One dollar for every played hand. It'll give me eight dollars right now. Not really worth it right now. Okay, right off the bat, what do I have? I have two, three, seven, ten. Not a straight, no straight being built here. I might have a flush here soon. Mm. Six, seven, ten. I should like aim for a straight flush, maybe. I kept on suit seven and ten that might get me closer to a straight flush actually better would be to get rid of everything but the ace and ten maybe I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get rid of these Uh, nothing really going here. Two aces, two tens. Maybe I'll just do this as a soft discard, really. And I'm also trying to build more face cards so that I can discard some face cards. Get rid of that four. Ah, uh, that might get me a flush. I'm almost had a flush in diamonds. Should I try to go for the diamond flush? Let's do that. Keep the face card so that I can maybe... <laughs> no diamond flush. Well, anyway, I can discard these three and get five free dollars. So that's nice. Alright. Now we have a flush. And it includes an ace, so that's nice. So that'll make some money. Yeah, I guess I had a diamond flush, but I really wanted to discard to get the free $5. I wasn't really paying attention enough to care, because I'm all about discarding these face cards. Uh, if I don't win on this next hand, I might get lucky and be able to discard those. Probably won't win on this next hand. Let's do this. I'm going to make this hand just to earn a little bit of cash on three of a kind.
could get rid of Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Should I try to build a straight? I might have to if I want to win. I don't have the luxury, I think, of trying to... Um, I need a 10. Would two pair win it for me here with these two guys? I get 20 times two. That's not going to do it for me. That would be like 22. No, I need a lot more points than that. I need my straight. Jack, queen. I'm going to get rid of an ace. Almost. Yeah, all right. I'm just playing high... I'm just playing a pair here. Uh, looks like that's it for this run. Well, I went for something interesting, but this weird joker didn't work out for me. Uh, I'll just play my failed straight. <laughs> I don't even know what I didn't even have them organized in rank. The end. Start a new one. Should I stay with the green deck? It earned money, but it didn't earn that much money. I feel like the nebula deck... Should I go with the yellow deck, which helps me early game to build up interest? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Yazo Rock, because then I can get up to my max interest earlier than before. Let's do this one. Let's do the yellow deck so I have a lot of cash at the beginning and try to get up to $25 so I'm making max interest right away. After defeating the boss blind, gain $15. Nah. Try to earn some cash here right away to get up to $25 as fast as I can. So again, the game rewards you for ending games, ending matches as fast as you can. So going for highest value, making full use of, well, your discards get you a dollar per unused discard, but ha unused hands get you $2. So if you need to use a discard to save a hand, it's worth it. I'm one off of a straight. I think it's not worth keeping the pairs. I'm going to do that and try to get a straight here. So if I get a nine or I get a... If I get a nine, that would work. Or if I get an ace, it would work. I didn't get either. Nine or an ace, please. There we go. Jack, queen, king, motherfucker. Yeah, ten jack, queen, king, ace. There we go. I should have been discarding one of the queens every time I did it, but I wasn't really. Oh, I'm glad you appreciate that XCZ. It's just how I do. One hand win, so I maximized my hand earning. No, not with this deck. Discards give you nothing. Oh, it was the last deck that was doing the discard bonus. So using, making full use of my discards is the best thing I can do right now. All right, so I'm three dollars away from earning maximum interest for ha money in pocket and then i'll get to start spending money so unless these things here and that one's catching my eye unless these things really make me want to buy them i'm not spending anything earn five dollars if poker hand has is two pair i kind of love that guys Free five dollars for playing pairs over and over. Although pairs aren't worth a lot, right? So if it is two pair, not contains two pair, is. Um and it changes each time, so that's just gonna earn a bunch of money. Ah, uh, it's common. I'm gonna go with like this might be worth it. Discards early on as a joker
Uh, this has the chance to keep my game going. This lets me have potentially an epic run, being able to reroll boss blinds. I think this might be worth the investment, even though I'm really trying to get my interest going. What do you guys think of this? The rewind, reroll boss blind one time per ante, so they don't have to end an epic run. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. This is an investment in the future. He's beginning to believe. Yeah, I'm believing in the epic, endless run. You hate the voucher? But it's a... Like... It could change into something bad. Yeah, but I would only ever use it if it was a boss that I knew that I basically can't beat. That's the idea. $5 per skip blind. This will give you $5. Uh, not worth it, I don't think. Well, okay, wait. What's the maximum I could earn if I won in one round? I would get $8. I think I actually should skip this. I don't need to go to another store because I don't want to spend more money. I'm skipping this blind to get money. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's true, Cody, but I mean, it was either lose guaranteed or have a chance at winning, right? If I hit a moment like that. So for this run, I haven't done anything. I haven't upgraded anything. Um, there's nothing special about my deck right now. I can just start, like, I'm just trying to maximize the value of what I am. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack. I'm just trying to maximize the value of my hands played so that I have the potential to win quickly and earn a lot of money from having leftover hands. So I'm discarding all of these. Wait, six, seven, eight is actually close to it. All right, now that would be a dumb idea then. I'm gonna go like this and hope I get a straight with these. I need like a nine or a 10 or seven, eight, six, seven, eight, three, jack, queen, I get rid of the queen, then... Oh, I almost have a straight flush here. Let's go for the straight flush. So I need either an ace of hearts. I'm looking for ace of hearts, ten of hearts, and nine of hearts. Are cards I would like to draw into. With this. Unlikely, but I might still build a straight regardless. I have three of a kind, which isn't bad. I wanted to keep the ex-queen because um, she's on suit for the straight flush. I'm gonna... I think I should give up on the straight flush and just start playing hands so that I don't lose right now. So I'm just gonna do this. I kind of... I feel like I got far enough trying to get the straight flush that I should just now try to start playing some hands out. I might not get my maximum cash this. Oh, so debuffed means it doesn't even count its base. I didn't know that. I thought debuffed, oh, it says right there, scores no chips. When I saw debuff, I thought that that meant any buffs it had aren't used. I didn't know that, I hadn't read this in a long time, so I didn't know that it meant doesn't score. Okay. Let's hope that I... All right, I'm getting rid of the cards that don't score anything, and I am... All right, I learned something. <laughs> Relearned something. I'm going to get rid of the cards that are off suit. I'm going to hope for a flush here. No more discards left. I have a 9, 10, 10 jack. Ah, uh, this is trouble. Two pair. I should have thrown out the five. I didn't even think to throw out the five. God damn it. I think the run might be over again. 
three, four, five, two, eight. Uh, I'll play these out. I think the ran the run is over again. So I get worse. I already said this on like stream number one. I get worse as I play a game because I start to like get um, dedicated to the dream or like I either overthink things or I get so focused on a certain thing. Winning a certain way becomes more exciting to me than just winning. So where before when I first started the game, I was just simply playing vanilla and trying to win the the, the thing at hand, the car, the the deck or i mean the round at hand is what my focus was now i'm focusing on the endless run i'm like what sets me up wait what just happened i started again okay and it's with the same deck right why do i have i have the gold deck yeah and i lost my joker okay i'm on a new run all right but it's more exciting to me to win a certain way now that I've beat the game once than to just win. So I'm trying to set myself up for something epic and crazy and different, right? Um, all right, so if I skip this, I get a free Mega Arcana pack. Is it better just to earn money though? Mega Arcana pack. I'm gonna skip this and get the free Mega Arcana pack. Hero fan enhances two cards to bonus cards, which gives me extra chips. Enhances one card into a wild card, can be any suit. I like flushes. I like them a lot because you don't have to re. You don't have to. It takes a lot less effort, and I feel like I don't like thinking today. Enhances one selected card to a stone card, no rank or suit, but plus 50 chips. Converts up to three selected cards into hearts. I think I like the wild card and the converting cards into, let's go with diamonds. And let's turn the, it, it sucks to turn a, oh, I should have turned the queen into the wild card and not into diamonds and then turn one of the four into diamonds. Having a four wild card isn't ex as exciting as, you know what, even though it's already diamonds and it looks like I'm trying to go for this strategy, I feel like maybe, ah, fuck it. I'll do this. I, I think it was badly done, but. All right, so I'm focusing on maybe flushes, diamond flushes this run. That's nice and like, you can kind of turn off your brain like that. Cause like now I'm just like, get rid of anything that's not diamonds. Give me diamonds, give me diamonds. There's my wild card, so. Need some diamonds here. Bam. Love it. Now I'll get straight flush royal flushes without even thinking. It'll just be lucky. I'll just get lucky. I didn't even use my four to do that. All right. <laughs> well, here's a flush. I mean, I don't even need the four again. Here's another flush. Man, flushes are fun. Why wasn't I doing flushes before? Flushes are fun. They're, they're, they feel good. Straights are hard. I don't need to s speed up the game yet. I'm doing a lot of t wasting a lot of time talking to you guys. So like slower animation is fine for me. I'm going to just let my gold deck do its work. Or, yeah, I, I'm gonna try to get to $25. I don't see anything here worth grabbing. 
Unless it has to do with diamonds. Well, Celestial will potentially give me an upgrade to my flushes, so I'm going to buy this. Four dollars, whatever. No flushes. I can upgrade full house. Three of a kinds. Let's upgrade full house, because full house is the... Can you... you... Could you have a full house flush? They don't do that, do they? They don't score a full house flush. Why not? Why is there a straight flush but not a full house flush? Wait, that's impossible because you're... Well, in this game it's possible. <laughs> in real game, yeah. Man, I'm like, this game's reprogrammed what I think poker is. Oh, it's a secret hand? Okay. All right. All right. Um... All right, then I'm gonna upgrade full house. It'll say flush house in this game. I think uh, somebody was kind of told me about that before, but they didn't want me to tell me exactly what the secret hand was because they probably wanted it to be a surprise. But that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go. All cards are debuffed. That's all card. All club cards are debuffed. That's fine. So what is it? It's it's um what modifies my suit? Arcane cards? Arcane? I should have opened that arcane pack then. Or is it... Yeah, it's arcane. I want more arcane packs. I've upgraded full houses, so keep an eye out for full houses. But otherwise, I am... Um, if I get free full houses, that's fine. But I'm looking for flushes. And I'm very close to one right now. Wild cards are any card, yeah. That'll be this. I like that flushes also lets me really just focus on high rank if possible. We got a four there, which will help with another flush potentially. But it's debuffed, so. Its ability is disabled, so it's not a wild card. Does this still count as a wild card? Does that count as an ability? No, it's just a four of spades because they got rid of its ability. That's what I think, yeah. Ooh, just one more hand. Damn. Spades. Arts. I have one more discard. Probably my best chance is discarding all of this. That should win it for me, I think. Uh, Ten. Wait, wait a minute. And Jack, King, no, I'm missing a Queen. So my best hand here is a pair. Two pair. And an ace high, which doesn't really contribute. I think the downside of flush builds are any blinds that negate the suit you've chosen. So you might want to try for two different suits okay um interesting that's a, that's a, yeah to mitigate plus one consumable slot plus one multiplier for each empty joker slot well that's insane when i just early game that's insane <laughs> like Earn two dollars per discard if no discards are used by the end of the round. I'm gonna just get this so I don't have to worry about winning for a while. At the very least. Maybe I'll just keep it like that. Maybe I won't even use many jokers. 
but yeah early game that's insane uh, all right so do I, uh, potential to upgrade flushes i'm not earning my interest yet but I'm gonna really start earning a lot of cash now that I've got this, because these are auto wins almost, and potentially just gonna get past 25 right away. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the arcane pack. Pair, pair, straight flush. Four of a kind. Let's upgrade my straight flush. Next round. Mega Buffoon Pack? We don't want Joker cards right now, so no. Alright. Jack, Queen, King. Nine. I have a chance at getting a straight here, so I'm just gonna go bam, bam, bam. Discard. Jack, Queen, King. 10 Jack, Queen, King. Almost have a straight flush. Almost. Should I go for the straight flush? Let's see if I can get a straight flush. I need a Jack and 10 in diamonds. Ah, I'm not going to risk it again. I'm just going to go normal flush. It would have been epic, but oops. For a royal flush? Well, that's... Wait, what? What's a royal flush? Oh, like a ro all, all... Yeah, it is a royal flush, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that... That's not scored, is it, though? That doesn't give you a bonus, unless this game does. Ace through ten of the same suit. Oh, yeah, royal flush. What about a royal straight? I mean, it includes a ten, but... It's the highest ranking straight flush, yeah. It's only an achievement, okay. Alright. Oof. This, this game's... That's obscene. Very good way to build money early game here. That guy pays for himself right there. Do I want another Celestial pack? Keep upgrading. Level up flush. Buy and use. I'm feeling good, Mr. Versetti. Balatro is not going as good as usual, but uh, mainly because I'm I'm really trying for to go for now. I'm addicted to the idea of an endless run, so everything choice I make isn't about winning immediately. It's about winning, making a deck that wins super good long term, which is like completely changing my outlook. Looking to upgrade flush again. Four of a kind, straight flush, three of a kind, straight. Of a kind straight flush. I'll go for straight flush, I guess. <laughs> Next round. Mega buffoon pack. I don't want buffoons. I don't want any jokers. I'm keeping this guy powered up, giving me a times five multiplier, which is just silliness. We've got. Should I just play the full house? Well, I want to win in as few hands as possible, so I'm going to look for this royal flush here. My last run, I didn't put much value on... Um... Oh, hey, I have a wild card, so... I might be able to almost have a royal flush. He's any suit. He's not any... He won't give me a royal flush, but he could potentially help me win. Ten Jack, Queen, King. Yeah. Wait, what? I'm one away from a flush. That's a flush. Wait, what? Because I have... You're talking about... Where's the flush? I have King, Queen... Jack. 
Yeah. I'm going to keep the four wild card as insurance. But I'm still looking for the straight flush here. You know, I don't need that insurance. I'm gonna go on all out on a on a straight royal flush so that I maximize the cash I earn from this this run, this moment. Eh. Now nah, I'll just go for the straight. This will probably win it right here, anyways, with my times five multiplier. Yeah, this is so high scoring that this will save us time. I think we're good. This should win in one hand, right? Yeah. A little bit risky, Miles. Yeah, I'm trying to like build something that can go the distance. That last run was so good, but then I got, basically what happens if you watch the previous episode, I hit the needle boss and the needle boss basically shut me down because I had to win in one hand and my entire deck strategy was winning in two hands. Oh, I'm gonna need to turn on some air conditioning here. It's getting a little bit toasty. a little bit. This is the first air conditioning of the year that I've had to turn on. Plus three multiplier for each joker card. No, that rewards me for having more jokers where I have this guy rewarding me for having no jokers. Celestial pack? I'm gonna keep buying celestial packs and hoping I can do an all flush run. This keeps on giving me straight flushes. Upgrades. Fuck it. <laughs> Living the dream. I'm gonna like win because one day a straight flush is going to save me. As hard as it is to make a straight flush. But with a lot of deck manipulation, straight flushes, like once I start to Arcana packs are what let me manipulate my deck, right? I should be opening these because I want to change start changing stuff to diamonds. This is what I'm trying to do. Three cards to diamonds. So I'm gonna go Jack, King, and change all those to diamonds. Uh, keep an eye out for a decent multi joker. Your current joker is just multiplying your base hand multi. So like, yeah, having multi multi jokers would be worth it. Um. This guy's not a decent multi-joker. Especially since I don't want to hold kings in hand. Yeah, in normal poker, straight flush is, is not as easy to get, for sure. Uh, negative one hand size, that's hand size not um draw size like so i have to make good hands out of so this shuts down the ability to do straights unless you'd upgraded your hand size to six that's not fair looks like we got a flush right off the bat They mean you have less, one less card in hand. Well, that goes against kind of the naming convention that they've used so far because they've called, what is it? Okay, wait, I went over this last time. What is it that you put on the board then? When you put the cards out there to be scored, what is that called? Because if what you're holding in hand is your hand, then what is it that you put on the board? It has to have its own name. It can't be also called a hand. It's your played hand? Well then, in magic terminology, if we were playing magic, they would say that an ability that neg gives negative one hand size would apply to both a played hand and your in hand. So that's a really confusing naming convention. They should have two separate, completely different names. Magic would say that it applies to both because of how magic's grammar works. I counterspell your MTG terms. 
Uh, jumbo Arcana pack and an Arcana pack. Yeah, let's just keep on spending money trying to upgrade flushes. I mean, yeah, and, and making it so I can get flushes. Uh, convert selected. We're going for diamonds, right? Selected cards to diamonds. You know, I agree with that strategy that you um, try to build two suits. I didn't do that from the beginning, and I don't remember which ones I've been burning. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, like, play crazy. Enhances a card into a steel card. Creates two random planet cards. Enhances two selected cards to bonus cards. Destroys up to two cards. I'm going to destroy two cards. I'm going to destroy my fives. Because they're not diamonds. Yeah, I can look at the deck overview at any time, right? I'm going to move on now. Next round. Next base edition Joker becomes a Polychrome. I'm not interested in new Jokers. I'm using this one Joker that gives me a huge multiplier just for being him. I could get a clubs flush, but I'm not. I'm just gonna go with the, like this is, I'm gonna go for the high value card, um, the high value diamonds flush. Try to win in one hand here. High value diamond flush. I'll keep the four just in case as insurance that I don't get a fully high value flush in the worst case scenario. I'll get rid of the two as well, just keep the four for insurance. And here's my high value flush. Very high value flush. I like that, I like that with flushes. With pairs, I wasn't really focusing too much on the value of the pair. Here, it really matters, right? And that's fun. Yeah, right, Miles? Let's hope that doesn't happen. Let, I'm gonna just... I mean, if I'm going for endless, I need to at least buy something that lets me reroll the boss. The first start, this card of round has only one card, destroy it and earn $3. This is a good way, if I want to sacrifice a little bit of my multiplier, this is a good way to really weed down my deck. Two random planet cards. Buy and use. Upgrading pair, upgrading straight. I'll use them both, whatever. I'm gonna sell pair. I'll keep, I use straight, but I'm gonna sell pair upgrade. Foon pack I don't want, standard pack. I'm gonna buy this guy and start using him to weed out anything that's not a diamond. We're gonna really go crazy on diamonds. And I'm gonna buy the standard pack to see if I can add some nice diamonds to my deck. A glass diamond? A wild card. Selected. Next round. Not gaining a lot of interest, but initial cards and booster packs in the next shop are free? What do they mean, initial cards? Like, Free booster packs or play the game. Won't earn any money here, but I... Before rerolls. Okay. I'm gonna skip this blind and get some free booster packs in my next shop. All spades cards are debuffed. Yikes. Don't do that to diamonds, please. I completely agree with you. I shouldn't have put all my ba eggs in one basket. I'm gonna just like hope that that never hurts me. <laughs> That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna hope it never hurts me. I'm gonna get rid of a debuffed card here. I'm gonna discard it and destroy it. All right. Now, <clears throat> get rid of everything that's not a diamond and keep the four.
Got a nice straight going here. Ah, we got... This might actually win it right here. I'll, go, I'll discard again just to see if I can get a little bit more cash out of this. I don't need the wild card anymore, so I'll get rid of it. I'm a little bit more valuable straight. Just a little bit. Yeah, the four wasn't going to be wild anyway because it was debuffed. True. This is going to be a little bit harder to win because um, the downgrade of uh, my Joker up there, but... I'm starting to realize how how lucky I was on all my first run, or my second run, <laughs> like... Doing that well on my second run and winning the game was a little bit insane. A little bit? A little really insane. Okay, I almost have a straight. I only need a little bit more cash, but uh, I have to do it in two hands. I guess I'm playing a hand like this just to see if I can get... This is like a discard hand. I just need one diamond. All right, there we go. That ought to do it. We get to keep playing. It was scary. That was a scary one. So I get free Mega Celestial pack. Awesome. Now I get to choose two out of here. Four of a kind, two pair, three of a kind, high card. Can you... A straight flush is worth a lot of points. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. It's so annoying. Come on. Like, I have yet to get a flush, just straight, like, get a normal flush upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade high card. I don't know. I don't want the buffoon pack, but I guess I'll sell the jokers I get out of it. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a joker that completely changes my mind about this run and what I'm doing with it. The first played face card gives a two times multiplier when scored. Only once per round. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sell this. I guess I can buy these guys and sell them too. What's this voucher do? Plus one card slot available in the shop. So I'll have more choices in the shop. You know what? I just finally hit 25, so my maximum earning of interest. So I'm going to just keep it like that. Uh, after this boss, you get $15. That's probably more than I would earn just by playing right now. But I get one less look at the shop. So now I'm going to play and I want more shop time. Hey, right off the bat, we got a flush. You know what, before I do it, I'm just going to try to get a higher scoring flush. Try to win in one, one go. Slightly, slightly higher scoring flush. Did I have a full house? I don't friggin' know. Did I have a full house flush? No, I don't think I've modified my deck to the point where I could get a full house flush yet. I don't think I have enough cards to do that. A normal full house. Well, yeah, that's not what I really... Like, I guess that would probably be... Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that I'm so dedicated to flushes even though I haven't really upgraded. Flush is only at level 2. It's not even higher than level 2. Like, that's not that great. But I don't know. I get, I'm one-track minded. I'm a dad. I don't sleep anymore. Be easy on me.
backup strats. Two, one, two, three. I'm a boomer. You wish. I'm getting lots of interest by playing now, though. That's good. Standard packs I don't think are worth the cash, especially since I... Well, I only need to be at $25, so... Um, I hadn't, I didn't use this last. I should have used this to get the three dollars. You know, I'm selling this. It's not, three dollars isn't enough. I'm selling this. Not worth getting rid of that multiplier. Played face cards have a one in two chance of giving two dollars when scored. Nah, not worth it. I can afford these. I can afford them. None of these are. None of these are diamonds. Here's a wild card, though. So I'll, I'll put that one in there. Flush full house hybrid might be good. Diamonds. Four of diamonds or a. Plus four multiplier. the diamonds in there. What's that, Joker? Next round. And if you're lucky, a flush house. Yeah, flush house is more likely than a straight flush. Doubles your money to a max, a maximum of $40. This is... Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Give me that cash. Lose one dollar per card played. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna make sure I don't play a lot of cards. Discard those. Let's try to win as fast as I can. Play this hand. Fairly high scoring. Oh, I have a flush. But it's pretty low scoring flush. Oh, no, I don't have a flush. Well, no. Get rid of my low scoring stuff. I think I'm in trouble though. I might be cooked. This is a tough boss, and I'm not getting good draws. Yeah. a lot of money to play yeah my planet cards really kind of really didn't help me much I might win here though I might I might it's unlikely but I might let's see I, I don't have any more discards so I have to just like hope that this garbage hand I did upgrade my high card Megiddo with the very brave, the very brave prediction. Oh, too bad. Oops, that was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to click that, but it's over anyway. New run. I think I have time for maybe one more run. No, I don't, unfortunately. What did I unlock? Have at least three wild cards in your deck. 
Oh, I unlocked that Joker. I wonder what he does. Well, it was fun. I don't know that I'm as interested in continuing it at this point. It was really fun, and it is fun. I think that I would rather spend some time with other games, though, at this, like, after this. I don't, a lot of it, like, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I just think that I wouldn't mind taking a crack at more games. Um, it's neat. A little dry compared to some other collectible uh, deck building roguelikes. A little bit dry. Uh, just because you're still you're just you're still just building poker hands, right? Like. Um, as opposed to like say something like Wild Frost where you're building a deck strategy and you've got these battles going on which is like adds to just a little bit extra spice and a little action or whatnot but um, I was really hoping today that I was going to go longer than like three more games it's so crazy how broken that deck was that I made that beat the game with almost no effort and then all of a sudden I immediately lose with the first boss I face and he's just like just destroys me because he requires me to win in one hand period like the, oh my god yeah and that that was a thing right Miles I wasn't getting good draws on my I opened so many uh, celestial packs but didn't get anything that upgraded my flushes just upgrading my straight flushes which is like not really that helpful um, I thought it would have been fun to get at least one straight flush that run would have been a fun thing to do it's too bad that uh, the wild cards don't count as a wild card just complete wild card like any any number and any suit you want that would have been helpful but obviously the developer made a choice there in terms of balance um ice type pokemon i don't like that i'm gonna take a hard stance on that one but uh Thanks for watching with me, guys. Lots of other indies to check out. It was fun dedicating three shows to really get into this one, and I can see how somebody can get really into this game and sink a lot of hours into it to see what you... Like, there's there's a lot of uh, um, satisfaction opening up packs and seeing where it will take you. Um, a little bit, I will have to say, my one criticism, main criticism, a little overpriced, maybe for what it is i don't want to say that about indies no that's not fair you know indies should value themselves it's just that i guess it's something from the japan perspective it was 20 dollars ja in japanese money which is a little rich i think for what it is uh i would like to see this game closer to like a five dollar game or something like that it, especially i think it will be worth that once it goes on to ios and it should be on ios because this is a very good Unlike Wild Frost or a game like that, it doesn't require nearly as much active uh, consideration of a whole bunch of different elements. It's a little bit more honed in on your your hand and that strategy. So it's very much like a solitaire game, like more, a little bit more shut your brain off or turn your brain on because you really want to do the math and really get good at the math part of the game. You could become like a, a savant at this and focus on maximizing points. Um, you just hit 100 hours on your Balatro. That's a lot of hours playing solitaire poker. Nah, it's a fun game. It's great, and a kudos to the developer on taking a fresh, putting a fresh spin on something um, like this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Video Games Awesome Live with Fresh Dad. I'll put on my glasses for the ending. Because I know that's what you come here for. Man. I'm looking good, though.
I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend to be modest. Looking good. All right. See you guys later. Bye bye.